Hi everyone. This tutorial is for uh, users new to Moodle, uh, specifically teachers, um, and it covers the topics of how to request your uh, Moodle classroom and uh, also how to um, uh, distribute that classroom to your students um, so that they can log in. So what I have here is the main Moodle page. It's moodle.fsd38.ab.ca um, as you can see right here. And um, at the, or in the middle of that Moodle page, you'll see that there is a fancy diagram with, at the bottom, a link to create my Moodle classroom. In order to set up my Moodle class, I will have to first click on that, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And when I do, the first thing it does is takes me to a login screen. Um, so I'll go ahead and I'll log in using my username and password, the system username and password, the same thing I'd use to get into any of our uh, uh, FSD systems, and I'm just going to press log in. At this point it takes me to a form, and the first thing it's going to ask me is what would I like to uh, call this course, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, give it a name, and you can see I've called it Underwater Basket Weaving 101 and given it a short name of UWB 101. The short name is just the name that will appear on the breadcrumb line, which is this line right here that says Home Course Request. Um, and it will show basically the tree um, that takes you to where you are in, in the Moodle. So for example, this course might be under Home Courses, um, Acme School, um, Underwater Arts, Underwater Basket Weaving 101. And uh, if uh, that last is too long, um, then there's no more room to add discussion forum, etc. So the general rule of thumb is to keep this course short name as short as possible. The summary line is the piece that's going to show up in the course catalog, so when students go looking for this course, that's what they're going to see. So I'm going to try to make this as meaningful as possible. So you can see I've created a learn how to create baskets while holding your breath as, uh, as the summary. And you just want to make that as meaningful as possible because that's what the students will see when they come looking for your course. The last piece is the reasons for wanting this course. Now um, in Foothills if you are a teacher you will automatically have your course created so you don't have to justify uh, the creation of your course. Um, However, what you do need to do is to uh, tell us where that course needs to go in the, in, the, um, in the tree. So particularly what we need to know is what subject area and what school this course will appear in. So I'm going to just go ahead and do that. So hi there, please file my course under whatever school in uh, the area of uh, visual aquatic arts. Um, Again, I don't have to justify why I want that uh, course, um, but what I do need to do is to make sure that I um, am clear where that course is going to be uh, filed. So when I'm done, all I need to do is push request a course. After about an hour or so, um, once the uh, request has been received and approved and filed, um, you'll get an email saying, um, your course has now been approved and here's a link. And so I've just gone ahead and clicked on that link so you can see I'm in Underwater Basket Weaving 101 and it's given me a, a completely empty um, uh, course area other than a news forum at the top. The first thing that I want to be able to do in here is to be able to um, give my students the ability to access this course. So right now I am the only person that has the ability to access my course um, until I grant enrollment through another means. In order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually look off to the uh, left hand side for a panel that says settings. And under settings you can see there's a number of uh, options in here, but because I want to manage users I'm just going to go click on the users button right here. The next thing that I'm going to look at is, first of all, enrollment methods, and then I'm going to go into enrolled users. Enrollment methods addresses how people are going to log into my Moodle. So when I click on enrollment methods, you'll see that there's a number of things that are automatically selected. 
manual enrollments is uh, is automatically switched on. You can see there's one user, which is actually me, uh, because I requested the course. Uh, you can see that guest access is set to off because the sidebar is closed, which means that I will not allow guests that don't have an account onto this Moodle page. Um, if I do want to allow guests in, I can just uh, go ahead and just press that eyeball, and when it opens, um, guests can now get in. So the next uh, time somebody comes to my Moodle shell, uh, there will be a link for guest access. Uh, for this particular course, I don't want to do that. And the last one, which is probably the most important, is self-enrollment. I don't want to have to go through the work of uh, manually adding every single one of my students from the class list. I'd rather have them do that themselves. And so what I'm going to set up is a self-enrollment system. What this does is when a student first visits the, uh, the Moodle page, rather than um, um, taking them directly to the page, it will give them a, a prompt for a password asking them to self-enroll. If they enter the password correctly, it adds them to the uh, class list. They actually show up as one of these numbers. And, um, and they're permanently uh, part of your class and will show up on all your lists and be able to submit, contribute, etc. So I'm going to actually go ahead and set that up. So what I'm going to do under self-enrollment is I'm going to go to the far right-hand side and click on this pen. When I do, it actually brings a form up, and there are only two things I need to do for this form to make it work. Number one is I have to set allow self-enrollments to yes, and number two is I need to give it an enrollment key. Now an enrollment key is just a word that students will use to, uh, to log in. The only advice I would give you for this word is to make sure that it's an easy word that when you say it, it's written down on a student's agenda the same way you say it, otherwise they won't be able to get in. Um, the unmask button just lets you uh, see what you're typing as opposed to just using the dots like you would normally do in a password field. And so I'm going to use the keyword cool. And so now if a student goes to this uh, Moodle site, before they can get in, they have to be able to type in the word cool and uh, it'll let them in and add them to the class list without you having to do anything. Um, you can, by the way, uh, change the default assigned role from student to teacher, which would allow you to self-enroll other teachers into your course. Um, you want to be fairly careful on how you do that, but uh, it's a doable thing. The other thing you might want to do is a custom welcome message. Uh, the custom welcome message is an email that's sent out from the Moodle the moment a student signs into your course. So you might want to say, like I have here, welcome to Underwater Basket Weaving, please take a moment to tell us about yourself. The moment they sign in, that email gets sent to them. At this point, I can just press Save Changes. And now my Moodle is ready for uh, students to join. In order for them to do that, they can just browse through the uh, course uh, catalog, but it's always easiest if uh, you can set the, or send them a link that will take them directly to the uh, Moodle page. So I'm just going to go up to my breadcrumbs here, and you can see that this uh, UWB I set up earlier is uh, currently uh, right here. So that's the main course shell, so I'll click on that. That takes me back to my main Moodle page, and now I want to be able to send the kids a link to get right in here so that I don't have to um, I don't have to take them step by step into finding it. The nice thing with Moodle is that every uh, page is directly linkable so I can actually go up to my uh, address bar I can hyperlink this um, link here um, right click copy and I can pass that into an email or link it to my uh, school web page. Um, again the students won't be able to get in until they uh, correctly type in the enrollment key. As with uh, anything with uh, Moodle, if you have any questions on this process, feel free to give me a, uh, an email or a shout or even just comment on this uh, YouTube channel. Um, the next videos will uh, talk about how to add content and to set up the shell for the first time.